The Canadian tour was, you know, actually great. It was always uh, up and down. You know, some venues were only like 250 people, and then some venues were like 1,500. So it was a, it was a good tour, man. A lot of energy. Uh, Montreal, Toronto, uh, shoot, all, all kinds of highlights on that tour, man. A lot of beautiful country up in there. So we were glad to be able to do it. We're trying to get to Japan. We possibly might be doing Australia. The next tour we'll be doing probably in August will be the East Coast. Uh, he just had some personal stuff go on with the family, and he had to, he had to call it quits and and start working uh, for. He had to take care of his family, man, and and the road uh, wasn't bringing enough money for him, so he had to, he had to retire. Yeah, man, he, he's adapting to it real real good, and uh, he, he's out of out of shoot up in the New York area, so he, he's more of a death metal blast beat kind of drummer. Half of my crew, Davey, guitar player, he had pneumonia right when we got home. It took him over like a month and a half to get over it. Sean was super sick. Gary was sick. I was sick. Um, we've been a lot more healthy on this tour, but that last tour took a toll on everybody, man. It's just part of it, you know. Um, just the changing of the seasons probably had a lot to do with it. Just a bad scar, man. But once it got infected and everything, I couldn't even, I couldn't walk. Cause after the burn happened, I was way out in the the country, and then I had to ignore it and work on it for like a week. And then when we got home, the floods happened, and I was having to work outside in the floods, digging trenches and all that stuff. And that's when it got infected, and had had to go to the burn unit, and they were wanting to check me in for a couple of days. But I was like, nah. I ain't gonna stay in the hospital. I'll do outpatient for you, but um, it 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 was pretty intense, man. Not being able to walk just from a burn. I've never had a uh, a third degree burn like that all the way around. So it was it it was definitely intense. Yeah, if I could have got to a hospital quicker, the infection probably wouldn't have set in. But once it set in, man, like every time I was standing up, the injury was happening all over again. You know and um, but uh, but I'm all good now. I'm just a just a battle wound scar from it. Franklin, we were out in Franklin working for Field and Stream in Kawasaki that day, and then after we were working, we were trying to get home, and that's when we were almost getting trapped. You know, it was coming up on both sides of us, so we just had to go for it just to get back to the house. Yeah, well, I'm glad my son was with me during all... He was with me when the burn happened and everything, so um, I know he'll have some memories that he'll never forget and all that chaos when Nashville was getting hit hit like that. Or not just Nashville, the half, half of the state of Tennessee was flooded. Yeah, we're getting ready to have a T-shirt online and... Uh, raising money uh, it's like I survived the historical 2010 flood of Tennessee and all that money will be going straight to people that lost everything we're not going to give it to a big company or anything like that we're going to give it to people that actually lost everything and if we raise two thousand dollars on the t-shirts we'll go to their house and say here you go and stuff like that so we're doing a charity thing for that yeah it'll, it'll be on a three bay when I get home couple of weeks. 
Uh, probably not because it's a little harder to keep it separate and have it a, a, a more like a, a charity thing. So. He just messes around with guitar and I think more more than anything he's going to probably be a writer. Uh, that's what he really likes to do. He's getting ready to start college and um, get a writing degree and uh, stories and all, no telling. But I know writing is a knack for him, so that's what he wants to uh, to follow.